Okay, here's my wedding blooper story that I've promised Jonas and Passionate Kisses. Um, I'll start with uh, the very beginning of the wedding. I could go in more details, but you can ask about this another time. To start with, we had my uh, niece. She was maybe my daughter's age, maybe a little older, as the flower girl, and we were concerned that that was going to be the problem. Uh, we weren't sure how she was going to do with that, but she did fine. She did excellent. That was not what went wrong. As it turned out, the adults were the ones who messed up a lot. And I'll tell you, to start with, we had a lot of problems with getting, you know, everybody together for wedding rehearsals or anything like that. And I think that may have been part of the problem. But, um, to start with, like, everybody else, like, my flower girls and everybody went and, uh, went down the aisle. And did their thing. Everything went fine. And we had a youth group that was over visiting, as you've seen in my other videos. We have all kinds of different uh, youth groups come and do stuff for us. Well, we had this one group there scheduled about the same time, and they knew how to play the horn. So for the wedding march, I had them playing the horn. And as I'm going down the aisle, everything started off really good. Me and my stepdad, you know, went down the aisle, and they were playing the horn to the wedding, you know, the wedding march and stuff with the horns. And then all of a sudden, my brother-in-law, I swear to goodness, my brother-in-law, I don't know what possessed him, what he was thinking, but he started the CD player right in the middle of the wedding march. Okay, that was one problem. <laughs> and then, as I'm going down the aisle, my dress, I had not had enough money to get it hemmed, and so the skirt was like all the way down my ankles and you know it was longer than it really needed should have been and my mother had convinced me to wear the shorter heels so that I wouldn't break my neck or you know uh, my ankle you know mess up my ankle or anything like that and I really needed to wear the longer heels because of me not being able to have gotten the dress him I mean we were paying for this whole wedding me and Kirk ourselves on our little budget I was working at a little pretzel store maybe getting six dollars an hour and you know he worked full time for the ministry so he was only making so much a week and so we did have a lot of money for a lot of things and I'll share and I'll post pictures if I can't in this video I'll do a whole separate one with a few pictures that we got and I'll tell you more about that in a minute too okay so I'm going down the aisle and my brother-in-law plays at CD and right in the middle of everything but because of the dress, instead of gracefully going down the aisle, I'm having to kick my dress, you know, down the aisle. It was hilarious, y'all. I'm hoping, and we haven't seen the video yet after almost three years of us being married. Still haven't seen the video yet. But I'm hoping that nobody can see me kicking my dress, <laughs> kicking down the aisle, because um, the dress was long enough. I'm hoping. So, then I get up there and, you know, do the, you know, we get up there and uh, Kirk and I meet up there with my father-in-law who's the preacher. And so he did the service and everything for us. And he starts the service and he starts, you know, kind of sounding like he was messing up or stumbling over his words. And being the encourager that I have to be, I wasn't thinking. I kind of whispered to him, thought nobody else could hear us, and was trying to encourage him, like, it's okay, Pop, or, you know, something like that, I told him. My sister heard me. You know, all of them in my wedding, in the wedding party heard me. And my sister then was trying to keep from laughing and everything. And later my father-in-law was like, well, does do I get a hug, you know, during the reception stuff, and when he hugged me and stuff, he kind of joked with me, and he's like, next time, don't talk when the preacher's talking. <laughs> so, I messed up there, but it, that wasn't the end of it. Okay, we've just gotten the beginning, and there's still so much more to go. When we 
exchanged the rings Pop gave me. Now he says he didn't give me the wrong rings. I said he did. He says I took the wrong rings. I ended up with Kirk's ring that um, he was supposed to put on my finger and vice versa. So when Kirk and I went to exchange rings, I ended up with Kirk's ring on my finger that was too big for me, and he ended up with my ring. And we we didn't try to fix it because we're trying to be nonchalant. I mean, uh, we had the whole little congregation uh, pews and everything filled, and we're just trying to be nonchalant. So to keep from losing his ring, I'm kind of trying to keep my my fist balled up like this so that I, I don't lose the ring. And we did fine. We went through the whole ceremony. And uh, when it got to the last part, just like in the rehearsals, I don't know what it was, but the last part that I was supposed to repeat, for me being nervous and, and everything, I guess I messed it up again. And so I messed up on our vows, in addition to everything. And then comes the time that was supposed to be our music play. Kirk had this particular music that you've seen in, uh, Kirk wanted that song played, uh, Look at You Girl, from my video that I did about how I met my husband. I played that song. Well, that one was supposed to be played before we went and did our Unity Candle. Derek never played it. My brother-in-law never played it. He, he was trying to play it the wrong time during the wedding march. God forbid. <laughs> so, anyways, we go down there and start going down the stairs to uh, do the unity candle and I forget that I'm trying to hang on and not lose the ring and I let my hand loose there goes the 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 ring rolling down the stairs and down the aisle so Kirk has to go and chase and, and chase after the ring go get the ring and then we start going down the stairs and we get down there to do the unity candle, and still Derek doesn't play any of the music that was supposed to be played. The music I had meant to have played um, during the unity candle was the parents' prayer. I guess that's the one I'll play uh, when I share the pictures. Oh, I totally forgot. And let me backtrack all the way to the beginning, okay? The first very big problem, I mean very, very big problem. Papa and them had the, and it wasn't their fault, like, the youth that were there, um, one of the leaders or the parents that came with the youth knew the, um, or, you know, from the news and everything, the reporter, and the reporter asked about, uh, doing the wedding. Why, I don't know. I mean, it, it was the first wedding at the Compassion Center, so I guess it was a big deal to them for that. It, um, and so because of us having, my family had done all the trays, done all this stuff, we ended up an hour and a half late, and, um, I, I was an hour and a half late to my wedding. I still needed to get in my dress, and we had the, the reporters waiting, we had our guests waiting, and I was an hour and a half late because my family were we're trying to do everything. Like I said, we were trying to do everything with our own budget. We couldn't uh, afford a photographer and or a florist or, or, you know, catering or anything. So we were trying to do it all ourselves. So it ended up making us really late. Well, in the midst of us trying to get me in my dress and, and get, you know, started, the one of the wives of one of the guys that are on the, the board for the Compassion Center was trying to take pictures. And my mom's just getting all, you know, excited and, you know, got to bawling and crying. And I was just on cloud nine. I mean, I was just on totally cloud nine. It was not bothering me all that much. But my mom got to bawling and crying and everything. She was just panicking. Because we were an hour and a half late. And, um, so... At the end of the service, we got through the unit of candle and everything, going back to where I was at before. 
going back to where I was before. Okay, so we finished the uni unity candle and everything. And the lady, the, the board member's wife was trying to take pictures again. Lo and behold, she never made sure she wasn't using